it's a battle of the titans. These are super heavyweights. Big. Boom. Big. Just, just big, guys. 335-pound Sal Fanetti. Godzilla! You know, Sal Fanetti, you know, uh, even at 330, he looks like a lightweight going against Butterbean. Yeah, he does look a little light in the britches against Butterbean. Sal fights out of the Repo Rick stable out in Fresno. One thing we can say about his fighters, they have a lot of courage, which Sal is going to need a lot of that courage going into the ring against Butterbean. Hey, you hear those footsteps most? We're talking Butterbean. 365 pounds. Here comes the bean into the ring. You know, most, I know you said he weighed in at 365, but the rumor I heard is he busted that scale at the weigh-in. Well, that wasn't a rumor I got. guy. The most had the duck. I was quick on my feet as a piece of scale. Damn near took my head off. But you know what? Butterbean told me this may be his last boxing match. He's looking to go into kickboxing and ultimate fighting. He's got a contract in Japan waiting to go kickboxing. He's going to take him up on that. Look at that, most. He's wearing a Sharks jersey. Hey, Butterbean knows how to work the crowd. That's why he's a crowd favorite and he's world renowned. Comes to San Jose, first time fighting in San Jose. Learns, hey, if I want to be successful with the crowd in San Jose on my side, I'm wearing a Sharks jersey. Well, you know what, most? If he decides not to go into uh, ultimate fighting, I think he may have a career as a goalie for the Sharks, man. I don't see too many pucks get past Butterbean when he stuffs himself into that goal. Hey, one thing about Butterbean, when you bring it in the Butterbean, he usually kicks it back out to you. All right, well, who knows? Maybe the Sharks will uh, tender him an offer after this fight. Hey, we could use the help. Maybe that's the one thing we need to get into that Stanley Cup. Now, right now, most, I think Sal's over in his corner, and he's Godzilla! sitting there looking over at Butterbean in his corner, and I think he's thinking, what the heck am I doing here? Well, Sal... All I can say is sticky move, sticky move, sticky move. You don't want to get in there and mix it up with Butterbean because those that have gotten in there and mix it up with Butterbean, 51 knockouts, baby. So, most, you know, your Sal, how do you go about fighting Butterbean? Well, you know what? I'm not Sal because if it was the most, I'm not getting in the ring with Butterbean. But in Sal's case, what Sal has to do is stay away, stick and move, Try to work the body as best you can, and don't get caught by a big butter bean shot upside the head. Well, you know, most Butterbean is known as the king of the three-round knockout. It! So I don't see this fight going too far. I don't see this fight going past two rounds myself. And not That's more it! because of the, the Butterbean, but because I don't think either one of these guys can go more than three rounds. Now, you know, Repo, he likes collecting those uh, mouthpieces, but I yeah, guarantee you he it. ain't going to be collecting forget no mouthpieces. about it. He may be collecting Sal's mouthpiece after Butterbean knocks it out of his mouth, but other than that, I don't see I don't see Repo Rick going up to Butterbean talking about, give me your mouthpiece. All right, round one's underway. Both these guys are meeting each other in the center of the mat. Sal threw the first punch, so he's, he's in there. He's willing to mix it up. Uh, I think, Sal, you need to try to find you a bicycle to hop on. You know, now a lot of fighters, they kind of pick their shots, but in Butterbean's case, I think he only needs about three or four shots. Oh, and you know, Butterbean wants you to come in there. But see, Butterbean can take a punch. Oh, nice punch to the head right there. Sal's throwing some uh, some blows there. Sal is throwing, but you know what? There he oh, down he goes, Most. Whoa, that was vicious. That was vicious. I think it's over, Most. Let's see, let's see. Oh, he's going to get up, like I said. Repo Rick's boys do have some heart. I know he might have been smarter just to stay down, but you know. I didn't say I didn't say they were brainiacs. I said they had some heart. I don't know if Butter Bean has even broken a sweat yet. No, Butter ha Bean hasn't broken a sweat, but oh, he's he's clubbing him now. He's mauling him. This is a mauling fight right here. You know that right hand from Butter Bean. That's like getting hit over the head by a two by four. Yeah. There's not much boxing going on right now. It's it's, it's Butter Bean, gotcha. mauling Sal Finetti, and Sal. Trying to keep the bean off him a little bit. Well, one thing about Butterbean, you know, uh, he doesn't have to work the ring because he kind of is the ring. Look at Sal. That was a nice little combination. You know, when they pushed Butterbean off, okay. Butterbean goes to the body a little bit. Has Butterbean ever been knocked down most? Uh, no. 
He, he has taken some, some, he has lost. Okay, Larry Holmes beat him, which says something, because Butterbean is not afraid to fight anyone. I'm, most, I'm, I'm with you. I don't know if this is a boxing match. It looks more like just an ass whooping. Yeah, there's another knockdown. That's it. Sal, stay down, buddy. It's now, over, most. You know, I asked me, hey, being the, the fight America really wants to see is you versus George Foreman. And you know what the Bean told me? He would not fight George Foreman. He respects George too much, and George is a friend, and Bean does not fight friends. And you got to respect that in the man. So what about uh, Butterbean against Mike Tyson, most? Well, hey, Bean told me that uh, Mike Tyson right now, he wouldn't fight Mike Tyson because he would hurt Mike Tyson. Mike doesn't have a chin, according to Butterbean, and to throw Mike Tyson in there with him would be suicide on Tyson's part. Now, we're kind of looking at that knockout, and I don't know what to say other than close your eyes because it's ugly. I, I know what I would say. Ouch! My, my head hurts just looking at it. I hope Sal's okay. Oh, Sal will be fine. He's a big boy. But, you know, he should not have been in the ring with Butterbean. He is not that experienced fighter. Butterbean has had over 70 fights. Sal Finetti has had 12. And right now. And he's lost six of them. Right now, Repo Rick, I think he's in the rink trying to get Sal's mouthpiece autographed by Butterbean. <laughs> Maybe, because uh, definitely he's not getting Butterbean's mouthpiece. And no, I think Repo is trying to get a picture with Butterbean. You know, Butterbean, he's a class act. He's a good guy, man. And, uh, you know, we had, you had a nice little interview with him. Like Butterbean a lot. Very classy, man. Um, one thing about the Bean, as I said, if he goes to Japan like his plans are to kickbox, look for big, big things out of Butterbean because he knows how to work the crowd and he appreciates his fans. And like a true pro, he's over there giving Sal a little pat on the back. And there's the official with the decision. No doubt, Butterbean all the way. No, Butterbean probably gave Sal, you know, a word of advice, some little confidence in there, hang in there, young guy. You know, things will get better. But Sal should not have been in the ring with Butterbean.